Welcome to Yoga with the Girl Challenge. This challenge helps you get out of that I am not ready barrier to start in making yoga practice a habit. You will build strength, flexibility and mental calmness. You will refine the quality of your awareness and will really learn to focus. Hi, welcome to Yoga with Gore channel and welcome to day one of your 30-day yoga challenge. I'm so glad that you're here and that you're going to take a journey with me over the next 30 days. So we need a couple of uh, blocks, yoga belt and maybe a couple of blankets. Also, we need a piece of wall. So each day we, we are going to practice different poses, breath awareness and control of the mind. The, the exercise that helps you to control your mind. So every day you will feel better, you will feel stronger, you feel uh, that your mobility improve, they feel the breath awareness and uh, the, the main idea of this yoga challenge is that you bring the yoga practice in your, in your life. And uh, so let's get started and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. So uh, stand in Tadasana, stay straight, roll your shoulders back and stretch your arms downward. Lift your chin, look forward. So keep your head, shoulders, hips and legs in line. So take a few breaths. Don't hold your breath. Stretch arms downward and press your heels. Be stable. So now bring the hands forward. Inhale, raise arms up. So look upward and stretch the maximum. Open the whole body. Don't hold your breath. Now move your arms down and take a breath. So now, few dynamic sections. So Tadasana and Urdhvastasana. So just I, I will show you first. So Tadasana. Now inhale, exhale. Now inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, move your arms down. So let's start together. So once again, be in Tadasana, roll your shoulders, stretch your arms down. So let's start six times. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, legs straight, inhale, exhale, inhale, four, exhale down, inhale, exhale, and last time, inhale, exhale, move your arms down, so very good. So the next uh, action, now bring the hands forward, interlock your fingers, now turn palms forward, so inhale, raise your arms up and hold this pose and stretch to the maximum. Stretch your arms from the lower side ribs. Be stable, stretch more and more. Inhale, exhale, don't hold your breath. Now move your arms down, relax a little bit. So look from this side. As you do this pose, so change the interlock of your fingers. As you do this pose and, and you extend your arms up, so don't push your lower back forward. So try to keep your Lower back stable and stretch your arms to the maximum. Okay, so do the pose, stretch, keep your back erect. Don't hold your breath. Okay, very good. Now move your arms down and take a breath. Very good. So now, the next section, uh, I will show you from the back. I will show you first, don't do now. So. I interlock my fingers, so I roll my shoulders from the front armpit to the back armpit, and I extend my arms downward. Look at this shape of my the wrists and hands. Don't bring the, the hands closer to each other. Keep the round shape in your wrists. Okay, so let's do it together. So, be in Tadasan. Now interlock your fingers behind the back. So roll your shoulders and stretch your arms down. Lift your chest. Move your back ribs in. 
open your whole body. I will show you from this uh, side, stay in the pose. This is the pose, so stretch, lift your chin, don't hold your breath. Okay, release, take a breath. Absorb your the right side, left side, absorb your shoulders, the neck. So now change the interlock of your fingers. And one more time. So roll your shoulders and stretch your arms downward. Open your whole body. Open the chest and lift your chest. But try to keep your lower back stable. So don't push your lower back forward. Release the top buttocks down and extend your arms downward. Breathe, don't hold the breath. Okay, now release. Very good. So go to the next action, the, the action of Gamukasan co face pose. But this is dynamic action. Look from the back. So what I do now, this is the action. So maybe you touch the fingers, maybe no, it doesn't matter. So for example, maybe your hands will be this way. So it depends on your condition, of your structure. Don't overstretch your shoulders, please, okay? So let's do it together. So again, six times each side. So stretch your arms to the sides. So now be ready. So let's do it. So warm up your shoulders. Go from the shoulders. Yeah, lift your chin. Don't look down. Breathe. Okay, a few times. Okay, now. Finish the both sides. Okay, finish and stretch your arms. Open your shoulders. Don't close your chest. Keep your chest open. Tadasana. Yeah, very good. Okay, so the next step we are going to do uh, Urdhva Hastasan and Uttanasan. So, Urdhva Hastasan, this is the Urdhva Hastasan upward uh, hands pose, and this is Uttanasan. So, this is an uh, intense standing forward bend, okay? So, but uh, again, once again, we are going to do combination, not combination, but uh, we are going to do the both together, this action in dynamic style. So, if you're stiff in your hamstring and back, so maybe you touch your knees, maybe an ankles, the shins, maybe toes, or you can use the blocks, for example, two blocks. You have a lo uh, yoga blocks, so you place the blocks on the mat. Look, and from here, you touch the blocks and go up, okay? So if you're ready for full action, so from <clears throat> Urdhva Stasson, palms forward, you go down, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. Okay. So let's do it together. Okay. So Tadasan. Roll your shoulders, stretch your arms down, lift your chin, look forward. Take a few breaths. Now be ready. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep your legs straight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up, exhale. Relax your lower back, inhale. Exhale, go down. The last time, inhale, exhale. So stay in this pose. So again, maybe you touch the floor, maybe you touch the legs, but stay there, relax your head, relax your neck. Okay, now lift your head, look forward, inhale, come up. Okay, very good. So let's go further forward. So, and um, the next pose, Adam Kashwanasan, downward facing dog pose. So you go this pose from Uttanasan. Look, this Uttanasan, bend forward, then you bend your knees and press your hands. So, and you go backward. So you lift the heels. And you stretch your arms and stretch your legs to maximum. And then, as you push the upper front thighs back, you extend the calf muscles through the heels and move your heels down. And you hold this pose for you 
seconds. Then you leave the head, look forward, and then step forward. One leg, then other leg. You go to Uttanasana, Udhastasana, Tadasana. Okay. So, uh, so if you, again, if you're stiff in your hamstring or lower back, so you can touch the legs, for example, and then you bend your legs and press your hands and then go down, uh, go back, okay? So, let's start and let's do together. So, be stable, take a few breaths. Now inhale, Urdhvastasana. Now exhale, go to Uttanasana. Now bend your knees and press your hands firmly to the floor. And now step backward, one leg and other leg. Adjust your hands, adjust your feet. So spread your hands uh, shoulder width apart and spread your feet hip width. So press your hands and extend your arms, especially inner part of your arms and push the front part of your legs backward, back and up. So as you move your shoulder blades into the back, so move your heels down. So try to press your heels, press your heels and extend to the maximum. Take a few breaths. Okay, now lift the head, be ready. So step forward one leg and other leg. So go to Uttanasana. Now inhale, Urvastasana. Now exhale, move your arms down. Okay, very good. Take a breath. I hope you enjoy these movements. So, and uh, we are going to do next movement. So, from Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose, we are going to. So, we are go, we flow to Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. I will show you. So this is Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog pose. And then you'll do a few movements. Inhale, then exhale, then inhale, and exhale, inhale. Exhale, and then step forward, Tanasana, Urdhvastasana, Tadasana. So, be ready, and uh, let's start. Let's start together. So, Tadasana, open your chest. Keep your legs straight, be on the heels. Soften your breath, look forward. Now, inhale. Raise your arms up, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, go down, Uttanasana. Now, bend your knees and press your hands to the floor and step backward. So, and stretch your legs and stretch your arms. A few seconds, stay in Adha Mukha Now, lift your head and go to Urdhva Mukha Inhale. Stretch your legs, don't bend your knees. Stretch your legs and lift your chest. Now go to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Stretch the maximum. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Adha Mukha Svanasana, stay there. Lift your head and step forward. One leg, then other leg. Uttanasana. Udvastasana. Tadasana. Okay, so uh, let's do some uh, shoulders movement. So, uh, I will show you from the back. This is Paschima Namaskarasana. Namaskar behind your back. 
So as you move your hands backward and you try to press your hands and roll your shoulders and press the hands inwardly. Okay, this is the movement. So let's start. So I'll show you again, start from the back. So press your fingers, the tip of the fingers to each other and now press the fingertips to each other and uh, turn your fingers upward and move your hands upward and now press your palms and roll your shoulders. So I will, now I will show you from the, um, from the side. So roll your shoulders and lift your chest, lift your chest. Okay. So press, press your hands. Look forward, eyes quiet. Keep your head, shoulders, and uh, legs in line. Okay, slowly release and stretch your arms. Yeah, very good. Okay, now uh, Garudasan, Garudasan action, action of the arms. So bring the elbows level of the shoulders. And now bring the right, right arm over your right arm over the left arm. Cross your forearms and try to press your palms to each other and extend your fingers. So if it's difficult for you, so you can just touch the, the backs of the hands to each other and lift the elbows. But if you're ready for the next step, so try to cross your wrists and press your palms to each other and extend your fingers. Lift the elbows, look forward. Feel your upper back, the shoulder blades, the action between two shoulder blades. Okay, slowly release and stretch your arms downward. Take a few breaths. Okay, very good. Now, uh, one more time. So bring the elbows to the level of the shoulders. And now change. Change the cross of your arms. So now, your left arm over the right and cross your forearms and try to press your palms and extend your fingers. Be careful with your shoulders, relax your shoulders, don't overstretch, be stable. Okay, now release. Very good, now, the next step, uh, the sitting pose, Vajrasana, diamond pose. So kneel down, uh, keep your big toes together, but you can spread your heels slightly. And then sit on the heels. Relax your shoulders, lift your chin, gaze forward, eyes quiet. Keep your back erect. So release your legs after stretching the, in the standing poses. And the dog's action, the up, downward. Uh, Adam Swanasan, the downward facing dog pose and upward facing dog pose movement. So now release your legs. Soften your breath. So keep your mind quiet. Now twisting, turn to the right side. So turn your right side and press your left hand to the right side and press the fingers to the floor. Or you can take the block under your right hand. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, turn and lift your chin, look over the right shoulder. As you inhale, lift your chest, as you exhale, turn more. Okay, turn to the center and change the side. Turn to, to your left side. Press the left fingers to the floor, press your right hand to the thigh and turn to the left side. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, turn. Okay, very good. And now bend forward, so press the buttocks, uh, press the sitting bones to the heels, press the buttocks to the heels, and slowly bend forward and extend your arms, relax your head, relax your neck, and place your, so take your head on the floor, or you can use the block under your head, just this height, or maybe this height, so of the block, and uh, so as you extend your arms, 
press the sitting bones to the heels. So let's do it together. So go forward and place your head on the block or on the floor. Also, you can press the fingertips on the floor and lift the elbows and extend the sides of the trunk forward and bring the armpits forward. Relax your head. Keep your head on the block. Breathe. Don't hold the breath. Relax completely your lower back. Okay, now slowly sit up and uh, remove the block. And <clears throat> so sit up, Dandasana, release your legs, lift your spine, lift your chest. This is Dandasana, rod pose or staff pose. So press your palms uh, to the floor, lift your chest, lift your spine, roll your shoulders and move your thoracic dorsal spine into the back. Be stable. Okay, now relax. And now Supta Baddha Konasana, the bounded angle pose, but in supine position. So, what I do now, I will show you first. So I bend my knees and bring the pelvis closer to the heels. And then I go on my elbows and then my back touch the floor, the head on the floor and arms down. So roll your palms upward, open your chest and stay there. So try to release and uh, relax your inner groins and inner thighs. Soften your lower abdomen, keep your chest open, soften your breath. You can close your eyes if you want. Relax the skin of the forehead, relax the skin of the temples. Relax your shoulders, upper arms, your hands. A few seconds more. Let go deeply, relax completely. Okay, now press your hands to the outer thighs and lift your knees. So lift your head, look. Adjust uh, position. So the next pose, Shavasana, relaxation. So a few minutes, you just extend your legs. Uh, sorry, so just bend your legs, press your hands to the floor and place your lower back, middle back, upper back on the floor and then extend the one leg, the other leg, just Lift your head, stay evenly on the floor. Now turn your palms, roll your shoulders, then close your eyes and relax completely. So let go deeply, relax completely. Feel your shoulders, relax your shoulders. Feel your arms and hands and relax deeply your arms and hands. Now relax completely your lower back, relax your top buttocks, middle buttocks, relax completely your pelvis, relax completely your hip joints, now relax completely your legs, the right leg, left leg, relax your thighs, your knees, your shins, calf muscles, ankles and feet. As you relax your legs, feel your abdomen and relax completely your abdomen, uh, lower abdomen, upper abdomen. Now relax your lower back, middle back, upper back. Let go deeply your spine. Now relax your neck, all parts of your neck, and relax your throat. Relax completely your face, skin of the face and muscles of your face. 
let the eyes move in. Relax your brain cells. Absorb your breath and keep your mind quiet. And stay in this pause few moments more. Now, when you feel ready, you just bend your legs, bend your arms, don't lift your head, just slowly you will come out from this pose. Now turn to the right side, your right side, and stay comfortable on the right side. Now lay the eyes open, so press your left hand to the floor and slowly sit up. So, thanks a lot for taking this yoga challenge with me. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button below. Any questions or comments, if you have about yoga challenge, please write them below. And also subscribe uh, the channel. I wish you a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.